What's going on, Minnesota Viking fans? It's Mitchell Renz, and you are watching Vikings Now. Coming up here on today's show, probably the reason why you clicked on this video. I know, I probably gave you a little bit of a heart attack. It's okay, calm down. Harrison Smith trade. Is it going to happen? And then at the end of today's show, I have three surprise players that you might not have in your initial 53-man roster projection, but I'm telling you, hey, just keep an eye on these guys. So let's talk about Harrison Smith. And Bleacher Report released an article titled, One player each NFL team should consider trading before the 2022 season. Smith was picked for the Vikings. And one of their biggest reasons was simply because Minnesota drafted Lewisine out of Georgia in the first round. So what I'm going to tell you guys here on today's show is, I'm going to give you all the quotes from Bleacher Report of why they decided to pick Harrison Smith. And then I'm going to tell you whether or not I would try to trade away the safety. But first, let's look at the quote here. Bleach report on trading Smith. Harrison Smith will eventually leave the Minnesota Vikings and be considered an all-time great in the franchise's history. That moment may come sooner rather than later. Smith made it Pro Bowl in six of the last seven seasons, including last year. But he's also 33 years old and signed a hefty, four-year, $64 million contract extension last offseason under the franchise's previous regime. A trade now will allow the Vikings to save $3.5 million this season, which can be rolled into next year's salary cap availability while avoiding massive charges from 2023 to 25. I got a few more quotes, and I got my answer coming up here in just a second, but y'all, we are 272 subs away from hitting 5,000. Producer Jack is on vacation. He's not going to be back until July 10th. Personally, I think it'd be really freaking cool if we hit 5,000 when he comes back. So that's my goal. We got to get to 5,000 subs by the time Producer Jack comes back. I know one thing, it would put a huge smile on his face. And well, if you want more Vikings news and rumors and extra free videos, then also hit that subscribe button. Let's continue to rock and roll here with this Bleacher Report article on trading Harrison Smith. Besides new general manager Questi Adolfo Menza already drafted Smith's replacement. The Vikings chose Lewis Seen with the 32nd overall pick. The two can certainly play together, but Seen is an absolute hammer. He proved to be the eraser on Georgia's national championship defense. Let me say one thing. I do like Lewis Seen. I think he's a good player, and he's they're right. He is that human hit stick. He's that dude where you want to play that guy in Madden when you were a kid. You throw the hit stick thing up, and you just want to lay some wood. That's what Lewis Seen can do. No doubt about it. The issue is, I don't know if he's ready to take over as a leader, because sometimes you think about trades like this, a lot of times people don't look at how much of an impact losing a player like Harrison Smith would be to a defense. Now, new head coach Kevin O'Connell is confident that scene can be that leader, and this is actually what he had to say. Hey, and this is him talking to Lewis Seen. Hey, lead this group out here. There's a reason why you were our first-round draft pick. He's got that makeup, and it comes naturally to him to lead by example. But I challenged him, take the rest of that DB group under your wing. So he wants them to step up and be a leader, which everybody does. But if that means trading away Harrison Smith, I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm going to give my answer, but first, I want to know from all of y'all out there, type T for trade, or I want you to type K for keep. Do you think that the Vikings should trade away Harrison Smith? He's a great player, still has a lot to offer, but he is 33 years old. So T for trade or K for keep. I know when you saw the article, it's why I tell people all the time, or the video, you see a title of the video, you see the thumbnail, you think, oh no, we're going to trade away Harrison Smith. It's why you shouldn't be lazy and you should click into the video, y'all. I'm not trading away Harrison Smith. And I get the idea of saving $3.5 million. Bleach Report, $3.5 million for a Pro Bowl player. That's what you're trying to save? All right, let, let's be real here. I believe that you can play strong safety. I believe you can play him at free safety. I believe Lewis Seen and I believe Harrison Smith are good enough players where they can be interchangeable early on. And if I'm being real, I would love Lewis Seen to learn underneath a player like Harrison Smith, who's played in the NFL for a long time, who is a six-time Pro Bowler out of the last seven seasons. And 
He's not done yet. Like, 114 tackles last season, one INT, seven PBUs. He's a leader on and off the field. And maybe if you were saving a lot of money, like a stupid amount of money, then okay. And maybe if he wasn't playing all that well, I got it. Here's the thing, though. Harrison Smith is still playing like a top 10 safety in the National Football League. And as long as Aaron Rodgers is on that other side of the field, I'm going to keep Smith around, who had a 77.9 overall grade according to PFF last season, a 74 run defense grade, 60 pass rush grade. But the grade I care about when I look at safety is coverage. Why? The NFL is a pass-happy league. And at 81.1, that is a very, very good grade. The other reason why I'm not trading him is because I believe the Vikings are in win-now mode. Like, the only way you're moving on from a player of Smith's caliber to save $3.5 million this year is if you're like the Chicago Bears or the Detroit Lions. You're like, yep, we're going to say it's a Super Bowl or bust, but nobody thinks that that team's going to win. You're talking about a Minnesota Vikings team that, yes, they went 8-9 and nine last season, but think about how many heartbreaking losses this team had. Think about how many one-score losses they had. You flip those around, you're looking at 11 wins. You're looking at 12 wins. I mean, that's how close this season was. So to me, the NFC North, and I've said this 100 times on the show, it's wide open. Green Bay took a step down. I'm not worried about Detroit. I'm not worried about Chicago. You have a defensive leader on this team, which you've already kind of moved on from some other defensive leaders. I don't understand you wanting to move on from all of these guys. So as far as I'm concerned, the Vikings can win this division, and you need to do it with Harrison Smith. So hit that thumbs up button right now. I want you to like the video if you want the Vikings to keep Harrison Smith, and if you believe Minnesota can win the NFC North. Also, if you just effing hate the Green Bay Packers, I'm okay with that as well. Like the video right now if you believe Minnesota can win the North. Now, I know it's cold up there. I get it. I got some family members who live up in Minnesota. They're Twins fans, but I won't get into that. And I know sometimes wearing a t-shirt might not work. But I also know it's the summertime right now. We got an awesome deal for y'all. So if you go to chatsports.com slash Vikings combo, which you're like, wait a minute, where'd you get that link from? First off, it's right there. Like, it is literally right below me. You can take that link, paste it in Google. If you use Safari, I'm going to judge you a little bit. But you can do that. Or, which is a lot easier... You can just go down to the comments or to the description of today's video. You click the link, and it's going to take you to this T-shirt combo. Usually, we're, this is like, I think it's $49.99 for both of these T-shirts, and we're going to save 20 bucks. So you can take advantage of the deal. They are going quick. It's an awesome gift. Maybe you forgot something for your dad for Father's Day. Also, I'm a big believer. It's never too early to start shopping for Christmas. Jatsports.com slash Vikings combo. Next thing up here on Vikings now, I got three surprise players to make the 53-man roster. Over the last two weeks here at Chat Sports, we've been doing various different shows, and one of the shows that we've been doing is actually the 53-man roster projection for a lot of teams. So what I figured I would do here is give you three surprising players to make the roster. First name I'm bringing up here is running back Ty Chandler. And I do a lot of dynasty fantasy football leagues, whether it's with my buddies, some old co-workers, and a guy that I've been telling a lot of people to go out and get is Ty Chandler. I'm not saying he's going to take over for Dalvin Cook. I still like Madison a lot as well, obviously. But he was drafted by this regime for a certain reason. And it's because he can catch the football, but he's also a good pass blocker. And if you plan to do a lot of, let's just say, two minutes type of zones or pass the football a little bit more, you need to have a running back that you can rely on. And personally... Alexander Madison is a back that I don't know how much he fits this scheme. When you have a back as talented as Dalvin Cook, you're going to be able to make it happen. You're going to be able to make it work. And if you decide to keep four or five running backs on your roster, I do think Chandler is somebody who ends up making the list, but I do think it might still surprise a few people. The next name on here, phenomenal last name, and definitely a roster bubble candidate, and it's because of how much talent the Vikings have at their wide receiver position because realistically, I look at Myron Mitchell, 2021 UDFA out of Alabama, and I see a lot of talent. And realistically, if he's not on the Vikings, he, if he's on some other teams, he might have more of an opportunity. But this Vikings wide receiver room, it's loaded. No doubt about it. No other way you can shake it. Jefferson Thielen, K.J. Osborne, those are all locks to me. 
you know how much I like Amir Smith-Marset. He's a lock to me. But if B.C. Johnson, for whatever reason, isn't 100% healthy or if coaching staff isn't confident that he can be healthy, I think that then opens the door for players like Naylor, Mitchell, even Albert Wilson. And what it really could come down to is special teams ability. Myron Mitchell has some special teams ability, and according to reports this offseason, has been impressing, impressing that new regime. Now, we do have one more player to get to, but I'm just genuinely curious, y'all. What are your 4th of July plans? It's kind of a random question I get there. I also have been seeing on Twitter these random questions that I absolutely love. Something like, who would win in this race, right? And I'm going to totally do this off the cup. 100-meter race. You got to eat one hot dog. Joey Chestnut or Justin Jefferson? Obviously, Justin Jefferson can dust Joey Chestnut in a 100-meter race. But... Joey Chestnut's going to eat that hot dog a lot quicker than Justin Jefferson. So totally random tangent. My 4th of July plans, though, I am absolutely going to be watching that hot dog eating contest because I was going to say something that just sounds weird. We're just going to move on. Let's go to Troy Die here. You're next up here on the show as a surprise candidate. Some of you are like, wait a minute. Hasn't Die been on the team for the last two years? Yes. Yes, he has. But new regime. I know. Take a drink every time I say that. The Vikings last season, 4-3 defense. Now you're going to go 3-4. I'm not 100% sure if Die is going to make this roster because when I look at my 53-man roster projection for Minnesota, there's like six or seven dudes that I'm like, all right, well, if I want to keep a certain position here, well, I got to move him out. Oh, I got to move him in. All right, I want to move him out. If I want to keep a player like Myron Mitchell, that might be odd man out for Troy Die because, you know, Eric Kendrick's going to end up making it. You drafted Brian Asamoah out of Oklahoma. You signed Jordan Hicks to a two-year $10 million deal. What if this team decides to keep a Chaz Surratt? Because I think it really comes down to Surratt. I believe it comes down to Die making that final spot here for this team. So let's just hypothetically say you can only keep one. You got 52 players on your roster. You got to cut two, but you're going to keep one. Would you keep Ty Chandler, type TC? Myron Mitchell, MM, Troy Die, TD. For me, I'm going to type TC, and I'm going to keep Ty Chandler. I just believe he has the best chance being drafted number five overall by the new regime, by the GM, by the head coach. So Ty Chandler is my pick.